Oompa Boompa. <laughs> Emma is in the park, playing with her friends in the sandbox and building castles. Suddenly, something very strange happens to her watch. It starts vibrating, and strange colors and drawings appear on the screen. Everything around her disappears, and Emma is now somewhere else. But where is she? There's a light breeze, and Emma feels that she is standing on sand. When she turns her head, she discovers an enormous blue ocean. Oh, I'm at the beach. The beach seems to be deserted. There are lots of holes and mounds of sand, but is there perhaps someone in a hole? Emma walks over and finds a woman and her dog. Hi, I'm Emma. What are you doing here? Are you building sandcastles? Hi, Emma. I'm Mary Anning, and that's my dog, Trey. We're in Lyme Regis in England. No, I'm not building sandcastles, but this is even more fun. I'm looking for the fossilized remains of animals that lived here millions of years ago. Do you want to help me? Wow, that sounds very interesting. I'd love to help you. When Mary Anning was a child, her father taught her how to search for fossils on the cliffs and beaches of the Jurassic Coast in southern England. Her father collected them and also sold them. Mary became very good at finding and identifying fossils. However, because she was a woman, many scientists didn't value her work. Oh, Emma, I've been looking for fossilized remains for many hours now. I have an idea. When I was a child like you, I accompanied my father here. And while he searched for fossils, I built sandcastles. Some were very big and luxurious. They looked like real palaces. Shall we build one? Yippee, yes! Let's get to work, Emma. Emma and Mary Anning start building an enormous sand palace. Look, Mary. Look what I found. We can stick it in the castle and use it as a white flagpole. Wait, Emma, let me see that. I, I think that might be an important discovery. Mary looks very carefully at what Emma has found. This is amazing, Emma. You found the bone I was missing in order to have the complete skeleton of an ichthyosaur. I ichthyo what? <laughs> ichthyosaur, Emma. It's a large marine reptile that lived millions of years ago. It's like a giant fish, similar to a dolphin. My brother Joseph found the skull and I found several of its bones. But this is the one I was missing in order to have the complete skeleton. Look, I'll show you the drawing that I did based on my discovery. Oh, that's a beautiful drawing. It belongs in a museum. It was a really big fish. Yes, Emma. Jurassic World exists to remind us how very small we are. The ichthyosaur should be the king of the ocean. And every king should have a palace. Do you want the castle we're building to be for him, Mary? That's a beautiful idea, Emma. The castle has turned out great. And now it's time for Emma to go home. Thanks, Mary. Our afternoon together has been very exciting. I'll never forget it. Goodbye, Emma. Always remember to believe in yourself and your discoveries. Nothing else matters. Mary Anning was born in England in 1799. She was the first recognized paleontologist, known throughout the world for her important discoveries from the Jurassic period. Her scientific work changed our understanding of prehistoric life and the history of the Earth. Currently, the Natural History Museum in London displays several of Mary Anning's spectacular finds. Curious and brave people. Clever and passionate people. There are people who changed the history of the world. And Mary Anning was one of them. 
Hi, everyone. We hope you got inspired by this brave story. I had so much fun. I love meeting new friends and learning from them. That's awesome, Emma. To all listeners, see you next week for fun new adventures. Don't forget to rate this podcast with five stars if you enjoyed it. That way, more and more friends will find and hear our stories. Until next time. 